Hi and welcome to another Chigo Creations DIY video. Today I thought I would show you how to make some upcycle yarn from jeans and a pair of trousers. Um, I made this yesterday and this was from a pair of jeans. Let's see, I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. So I cut off the bottom leg for this and I kept the top bit because you know I can upcycle this for something else I can turn this into a bag or use the pockets you know there's many possibilities for what you can use I also cut off the legs of this one and this one here this I think is cotton fabric or linen so when I cut off the leg I ironed it because it was all a bit scrumpled, um, crumpled and I just wanted to be able to know where I was cutting and have everything straight. So as you can see from just two legs you can get quite a lot of yarn and it's quite thick so I would use this for crocheting and you need quite a thick cro crochet needle. I haven't used it for crocheting yet to know what needle to use but it would be a pretty big size and you want the hook to be quite deep as well to be able to catch it. So I'm going to first turn this one into yarn and since I already have quite thick jean yarn I am going to try to make this a little bit thinner but I'm not going to measure or anything, I'm just going to eyeball it and use the scissors. So, let's begin. When you're cutting these strips, you want to leave a bit at the top so you don't want to cut all the way through because that will help it to be a continuous strand of yarn so you don't have to keep on connecting it. So. Now you don't have to leave the same amount of space at the top. I wasn't very exact with the last one I made so it didn't really seem to matter but you can leave a pretty small space at the top or a big space as long as you just leave a space to allow it to be continuous so as you can see I'm trying to make it at least about half the size of this one
I'm just going to spread it apart here. And then to start it off, I'm going to cut diagonally, let me see, this way? Yeah. I cut diagonally this way. And then diagonally here to here. After a few cuts, you can already see that it's becoming quite long. See? And then it just continues, and you have a really long upcycle genia from it. make sure when you're cutting you don't cut any of the other pieces because then the strand will break and then you have to connect it The last one you just do the same, cut diagonally and here you have it, some upcycled genius. So it's pretty easy to make really and, and of course I'm just gonna wind it up on my hand so I'm just holding my things like that and going like a figure of eight around my little finger and my thumb just so it's a bit more manageable Just make sure when you're wrapping it up into a ball, you don't wrap too tight, otherwise you will hurt your fingers, like I am now. So as you can see, we have quite a lot left up for one leg and this is how much I got from the other trousers and this is two legs. Now you can do this with anything. I've done this with t-shirts to make jersey yarn and I dyed it myself and that was quite nice to crochet with. Um, I will cut this one as well to go with this 
and since this is so big I may t try while crocheting to twist while I crochet so that it's a bit more manageable you know, and I can also try to twist it before I even start my project but I hope you enjoyed um, I'll probably do a short video showing the process of this one but it's basically the same thing same process you do the same thing um, I'm going to cut this one and then I'll connect it together and I'll do a short video on how to do that so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and if you do make some yarn out of jeans please share it with me I would love to see what you do with it and then what you create with your upcycled yarn so thank you for watching bye